everyone welcome to brick vault today i get to check out a star wars ship that i personally have wanted in the micro fleet since forever ever since we started micro building this has been on the list since day one we have the custom lego hammerhead corvette Lightmaker from the designer to impaired it's another great looking corellian space cruiser so it's related to a cr90 or charger c70 but with some well-defined differences. This ship is also known as the Sphirna class C80, so it quite literally fits right in the middle here. The Lightmaker itself is the specific hammerhead seen ramming into an Imperial Star Destroyer at the Battle of Scarif in Rogue One, so maybe it goes without saying, but this ship is well armored and has incredibly powerful thrusters. Where the Sphirna class differs from its Krillian cousins, though, is its armament. This Corvette has several lighter laser cannons that are better for targeting smaller fast fighters and the hammerhead is ideal to escort large capital ships and excellent at breaking up enemy fighter squadrons. Before jumping into the closer details, first let me just say that if you want to build this creation for yourself, you can get the instructions at brickvault.toys. With an instructions purchase comes a PDF guide to build and a digital parts list for ordering your pieces online. All of our models are hand tested for durability. Instructions are tested to make the model easy to build and the parts for the creation are chosen for availability. If you do buy instructions from us you will be able to build this model in real life. It's also an excellent way to help support us here at the channel and the talented designers that we work with like Too Impaired who has built the jaw-droppingly detailed Imperial Star Destroyer Eviscerator plus its accompanying nanoscale ships to flesh out a nano fleet. And on top of that, he's designed the Gozanti and CR90s that match up with the micro scale fleet here. Anyways, that's brickvault.toys, link in the description if you want to get started. And now let's zoom in on the hammerhead. The model is wonderfully rounded and smooth when the design calls for it. And at the same time, the ship's got tightly packed, overlapping, greebled mechanical details when it needs it too. The tough angular shapes like the hammer, part of the hammer head itself comes together without so much as a seam, and somehow through it all the build was quick and the shapes for the body are very strong. The frame that runs through the body and keeps the engines on is solid, and it's probably the easiest micro scale model, the larger ones at least, to handle because of that, Plus, it's got very easy gripping points. All right, let's jump straight into some of the functions or interactive features, of which there isn't really a ton. This model is pretty similar to other micro scale designs in that regard. All of the small turrets have the ability to move around a little bit, often just swiveling on one stud. The double turrets on either end in the midsection of the model have an extra axis in which you can turn. And here I suspect that these are probably some of the most effective anti-fighter cannons in the fleet. 100% speculation here, but four cannons focused just on one ship seems to be an effective way to shoot it down. Now, outside of twisting random greebles out of place, this model is pretty much locked just the way it is on the display stand. The engines in the back have some wonderful shaping with details, details, details galore. There is a clever bit of building that allows for those angled walls to connect on the underside as well, but easily the hammer part of the hammerhead is my favorite combination of pieces in the whole model. This thing comes together like a small ballet in terms of all the sub assemblies lining up and on top of that the details mesh together like the bricks were designed to make this thing look good. It really is an effective bit of building and it absolutely sells the look of the model for me completely. In terms of the looks the Corvette also fills a nice role in the larger micro scale fleet now that I've got the rebels together. It breaks up the size differentiation between the largest models and the smallest ones. Plus, 
frankly, it just looks amazing when nestled into this bigger configuration. The Hammerhead Corvette has always been so cool in my book because it's basically the smallest non-starfighter ship that was designed for sustained fleet combat. It's basically designed to take punishment from those smaller fighters while picking them off without a hitch. My friend actually described the Hammerhead as the honey badger of rebel ships. I'm inclined to agree with them, but I'd definitely like to know what you guys think in the comments below. This was a blast to put together. And remember, if you wanna build one for yourself, the instructions are linked in the description below, and that's brickvault.com. Toys. Remember, if you enjoy our content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what types of other models you want to see in the web store in the future. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yay!